this unboxing is a picture book, You Need to Chill, a story of love and family from best-selling author Juno Dawson, illustrated by Laura Hughes. And she's got these funky sunglasses. They look shiny, but there's not actually texture on it. Um, and so this is a book for ages four and up. It is out in May, May 2nd. Oh, look at, I love this uh, end paper. I love the illustrations. They're like, they're like really fun. And the illustrations in the back, the um, end paper is completely different. So this is a book about gender, or gender spectrum is a charity that works to establish inclusive environments. Um, and so maybe this book, which is from Sourcebooks, Jabberwocky, I believe it might have a um, neurodiverse like message hidden in it. We'll see. So sometimes people say to me, what happened to your brother, Bill? We haven't seen him in ages. And the sister says you need to chill. And they're worried about him. And they're saying, no, the truth is my brother, Bill, is now my sister Lily. So it's about transgender. That's, wow, that's a surprise. I didn't expect that. So it might be a shock, but she's really the same. She looks a little different. She has a new first name. So this is a rhyming picture book. And it's about acceptance and love. Okay, so this is great. And also, this is the kind of picture book that the crazy book banners are trying to ban. So. Let's definitely get behind this picture book. And it's about how the new, the, this is like not a big deal. And if people ask, you just say, hey, you need to chill. Um, and so this makes more sense, gender spectrum. I thought it was like autism spectrum, but I got that all wrong because that gender, it's about gender. Um, their organization provides help for transgender, non-binary, and gender diverse kids. Um, and you can learn more at genderspectrum.org. So it's about an inclusive, it's just about inclu inclusivity. And sh oh, Juno Dawson wrote this book is gay, as well as what's the T. And um, wow, this is great. I had no idea. Um, what this book was about. That was a really fun discovery. And I, I kind of like how it's embedded because um, it's not on the cover on the front or the back so much. So it might sneak through to some classroom and school libraries. And then the kids who need to read this the most will be able to find it.